Welcome to your practice power daily power man. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to the 11th of February. Look, I hope you had a great weekend and I uh, hope you're ready to rock and roll and be excellent this tactical week. Today, let's talk about client service. Uh, you know, we could probably spend, well, probably a couple hours on this, but quickly to get the week started here. You know, we always hear a lot about being client focused or client centric or being very service oriented and things like that. And, and those are all great, what we call values. My question for you, though, is what are the rules? So if I said to you, what's excellent customer service or what's excellent client service, what would you tell me? What are the specifics around that? If I said to you, you need to get back to your clients right away, well, what does right away mean? Does it mean drop everything and like get on the phone this second? Uh, does it mean, you know, you know, take a client call? You know, there's a lot of, a lot of challenges I find with advisors is there's a distinction between client service and what I'll call accessibility. And here's what I mean by that primarily. I am not a fan of advisors picking up their own phone. Whenever it rings, you pick it up like a trained monkey. Oh, the phone ring, bang, pick it up. Because in essence, it's a distraction to you. It takes you off your game, takes you off your rhythm, so on and so forth. And I know what some of you are going to sit there and say right away, which is, well, Joe, then, then my clients have to be put on hold or, or they may have to talk to my assistant or, or God forbid, they have to you know, leave a voicemail. So what? The bottom line is you're probably going to, you're probably going to get back to them quickly anyway. And the reality is unless you're doing some interday trading, let's be realistic here. Hey, we don't work in the trauma center where it's life or death whether or not we pick up that phone or not. I mean, it's extremely rare. And I want you to think about that. How many of your phone calls have really been life or death? Very rare. My point being is this. I would always rather be a caller than a callee. I would rather have a client call, leave a message, and I don't care if I get back to them in 10 minutes, but I'm going to have their client file. I'm going to have their CRM record open. I'm going to look at my notes. I'm going to see what's going on. So when I call them, I'm prepared to serve them. Versus them calling me and I got to sit there and spend five minutes trying to reconfigure things, and solve a two-minute problem. Then I got then I got to get back to doing what I was doing, which is going to take another few minutes. And there's just no rhythm throughout the day. Now, I'm not saying you have to block time your entire day. But for sure, when you're in client meetings, you're not taking messages. Uh, for those of you working with me, I know when we're on our coaching calls, you're not taking you're not taking client calls. And the reality is that when you're out at conferences and doing other things, people leave messages. Hey, it's okay. Point being is do not let your clients run your day. You're not a 1-800 help center, call center, suicide hotline, whatever, all right? We are professionals. You must guard your time, okay? So what do you think about that? Let's go off to a great start this week. I'll see you tomorrow.